Today I want to talk to you about the extraordinary kindness of God. When we go to a chapter in the Bible, Acts 14, we will see that Paul was preaching in Derby and Iconium, and he was preaching to the people that were speaking the Iconian language. And he was telling them about God. And as he was preaching, there was a paralyzed man. We can read that in chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. And uh, this guy could never walk. He's never walked in all of his life. And when Paul saw that this guy had some faith, he spoke to him and said, rise and be healed. And this man jumped up and he started running, running around and he was so happy. Then these people who were worshiping Zeus and Hermes, they were saying, well, the gods has now become a human and he's amongst us. And they quickly went to get a bull. They knew how to, what to do when the gods are in their presence, and that is sacrifice. And they wanted to sacrifice to Hermes, and they wanted to sacrifice to uh, Zeus. And all of a sudden, Paul was very upset, and they tore their clothes, and they says, no, we are bringing you good news that you can now turn away from these idols. You can turn away from these worthless gods, which cannot bring forth true inner peace that cannot bring forth eternal life into your bodies, that cannot bring forth what God has dreamt for you from before the world began, that cannot bring forth uh, freedom from life in the flesh, that cannot bring forth a holy life in you. Uh, we want you to turn away from these gods and serve the true and living God. And then he goes on and he says to them, listen, I just want to say this, God in his kindness, while you were still worshiping Zeus, didn't leave him without testimony that he is kind and he blessed you with rain and crops and all those kind of things. God still blessed you. doesn't mean that what you were doing in worshiping Zeus, that it carried the approval of God. And God didn't bless you because you serve Zeus. That is not why he blessed you. He, he blessed you and gave you this food and crops and all those kind of things as a testimony to his kindness. So he didn't leave himself without the testimony of his kindness. That is what Acts 14 says. So when we look at that, we can know that God even cares for those who does not worship him in providing food and clothes and those kind of things. But when it comes to salvation, meaning freedom from sin in the flesh, freedom from from death, having the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that is only attained once we believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't use our financial gain and all those kind of things as a sign of uh, our good works. We've done the right thing and now that God is rewarding us with finances because of our good works. No, that is just God's mercy. <clears throat> it's just God's kindness that has come over people's lives. And we see that today. We find people that can worship false gods. They are also having food and clothes because God is not leaving himself without testimony. But that's not what we are aiming at as Christians. Our highest vocation as Christians is not to see how can we have food, how can we have clothes, how can we try and get some form of a social justice so that we can now be more prosperous or something like that. That is not the highest, although it can have, uh, I, I do believe that the fruit of the Spirit can show in that direction. But the point that I want to make is the highest life we can live is to receive the eternal life of God, to receive the Holy Spirit, to be set free from the power of sin, to be set free from the power of death, to find the fruit of the Holy Spirit starting to work in us by the doing of God, where we have become a new creation. And that is what Paul is calling these people unto. So I want to show you today just from the scriptures how extremely kind God is in blessing people and what he has called us unto, and that is to believe upon Jesus and so have what is promised by Jesus, which is eternal life. Remember that the God that you believe in is very kind. He loves you. He cares for you. And he's come to give you the gift of his life. Amen.